We are in Shanghai, China. Departure at 10.45 a.m. from Shanghai. Expected arrival in Beijing at 1.10 p.m. Return in the day, always following the same route, the busiest in all of China. After 15 years of waiting, COMAX C-919 takes flight. The Chinese answer to trying to undermine the monopoly of Airbus and Boeing. The Made in China airliner took off on Sunday for its first commercial flight, after flying hundreds of hours of test flights in recent months. Made in China, but not too much. However, the 164-seat aircraft still relies heavily on Western components, including engines and avionics, that is, the electronic equipment installed on board the aircraft. Planned production. The state-owned China Eastern Airlines has ordered five aircraft. COMAC plans to produce 150 aircraft per year within the next five years and claims to have already secured more than 1,200 orders for the C-919. But some experts claim that most of these orders are letters of intent from domestic customers. There is a lot of enthusiasm. President Xi Jinping, who sat in the cockpit of a C-919 model a few years ago, described the project as one of China's most innovative achievements made in China considerations. The aircraft has a maximum flight capacity of 3,500 miles, 5,630 kilometers, and can carry up to 158, 168 passengers. After generations of efforts, we have finally broken the Western aviation monopoly and got rid of the humiliation of 800 million shirts for a Boeing, wrote the Beijing Daily Newspaper, referring to the early period of China's opening up to international trade when it mainly produced low-value-added goods.